Guys, sorry about the sound. That's the dog scratching away. My dog has dry skin and he suffers from hay fever. So it's like two things in one for him. Bless his heart. He spends most of the day trying to scratch. And we've just got to keep him... We've actually found a nice oil that we could use now. We called up the vet and they gave us a solution. So we're going to give that a go for him. Um, this one is the Autism Awareness Month canvas. What is that? That one there? I don't know what it was. It is only a partial as well. This was my first square from DOC. The first order. Huh? The first ever order. In my first order, yeah, you're right. I thought I just saw dog hair and now I can't find it. Guys, did you just see me on the camera? No, no. I'm just some joke. No. Oh. I'm sorry if you saw me, guys. Um, It was only a partial. So it's like all yellows, yellowy orangey here, reds here, blue, purple, and like a grey to darker, darker grey. And then all this lovely white is AB. Isn't that nice guys? I placed these freehand. I didn't have the ruler that Mr Sparkle has. Um, I just placed them on in hopes that I won't mess up <laughs> and I think I did pretty well actually <laughs> bless you I think I did really well um, the canvas was nice and sticky but only in the areas like if I put my hand here it's not sticky inside there you know if I, it's just only sticky where the actual draw field was um, it didn't take, well, it did take a while to do because you guys had the whipping chat and every section I tried to drag out for as long as possible. Um, I did say I wasn't going to do a review for this one, but it's been like, how many months? Four, I thought you guys would like to see how it looks now, since I've done this one. Because it has been filed away and I was going to show you how I store them until I, I'm going to frame them because well at least these ones for sure because um i know someone asked me how do i store my canvases that i haven't got in frames and i was like i'll just put them back in the box like what how do you do that so and because this is the partial the smaller one and i still have a lot of these drawers left over if one pops off it ain't such a big issue <laughs> we'll just gift it to um mr sparkle's parents <laughs> We actually want to get a nice one for them. So this is our box. I put C on it because it's a completed canvas. Um, i trying to think what way would be better. I'll just do it the way it came. Back of my canvas here, guys, is nicer than the one for the other one. And I just roll it. I try to roll it kind of tight-ish, but not too tight. I roll it the drawers outside because when the rip drawers rub, they'll come off. So I just... Roll it like this, nice and slowly. There we go. So it's like that. Nice little one. I don't do anything else with it, and I just slide it into my box. That would have been so much cooler if the if the circle bit hadn't started opening up halfway through the, the putting in the box. So that's pretty much how I store them after I've done them. I mean. Um, my other ones just go in a normal folder, uh, for now anyway. Um... My idea wasn't enough, my idea was a C and... No, yes. Yes, it was your idea. And we also have two boxes which have got big S's on for spare boxes so we can put anything in there too. Because we have a nice range of images sizes. And, um, yeah. So, that's generally how we store them. Um, until we frame or, um, well, until we frame or work out how we're going to gift them away and stuff. Um, this one I think we were planning on keeping, weren't we? Same with the Night Guardian that we have. 
completed already but there are a few other ones that we've done that we have given away already and are still to give away we just need to frame them too but the smaller canvas sizes they go into the A3 folder and our big ones that haven't been touched or in the A2 the ones that have been done are probably going to end up in the spare box until we frame it but yeah guys um we were thinking of doing like a whipping chat with um, you know the things that we wish we'd known when we first started diamond painting. Um, I'll be interested to see what you guys think of that idea. Please let us know in the comments below. Thank you to all our new subscribers, which I forgot to say in previous videos, but we are grateful for all our new subscribers. You know, we are grateful for the interaction that you guys give. Um, we appreciate you know your likes, your comments just subscribing even shares would be great sometimes guys um what else is there papa okay. i'm generally like running on fumes right now i can't even think of what to say um yeah so we're thinking of a what we wish we knew kind of thing uh, Dan Paint 101 type video, but it's going to be a whipping chat, guys, so you, we can work together as well as talk. Um, also, we were considering doing a live, but we don't know what to do on our live. So, guys, give us some ideas for live in the comments because that'd be great. Um, and we will see you all soon in our next video. We hope you all have a lovely day, evening morning night whichever it is for you and we will see you in the next video bye guys